are on the Soviet front. More shots from captured German newsreels. These pictures were taken by German cameramen for two reasons. The first, and most important perhaps, was to let neutral and occupied countries know what they may expect if they don't play ball according to the Nazi rules or think to offer resistance to the crooked cross of the so-called National Socialist Germany. The second reason was to tell the German people what fine annihilating work their troops are doing. The more ghastly the devastation, the better Dr. Goebbels and company are pleased. Not for them the symbol arts. Their treasured pictures are composed with figures of steel, with highlights of pallid death, darker tones of wet blood, backgrounds of hell's blackness. Yes, these pictures of ruthless air and ground attacks on Soviet villages and their peasant populations were taken to give pleasure to gentle German cinema girls and to scare the world into acquiescence of the new order Hitler proposes to build on the blood-soaked rubble of the old. Workers of the tank factories, watch this battle of the giants you make and resolve that by your work, threat shall be met by greater threat. workers, watch the guns and resolve that your strong arms shall make our soldiers' equipment superior to anything which may be brought against them or against you. Many people of our bombed areas, many bereaved parents, already know how to give their all. But watch these sickening scenes, all of us, and re-examine well our own consciences. What are we, each of us individually, sacrificing to shorten this agony? What ease and comforts are thousands of thoughtless still clinging to, which, if they don't give up quickly and freely, may bring to them and to us horrors like this. If you know any so unthinking and selfish, ask them this. Where do you stand on this road to the world's Calvary? Are you one of the brave company of the great inspired throng, helping to ease the burden of the cross from lacerated shoulders, prepared to bear it if need be? Or do you stand by the roadside, just watching the ineffably sad but greatly glorious procession? Anyway, these pictures should help to show those who are content to let others fight the war for them just where they stand.